They're known as some of our planet's most fearsome and intimidating predators, but how big can a shark be really? And are they creatures that we should be scared of, or are they just misunderstood? Well, we can't answer the second question, but we're damn well gonna try for the first. From a shark with a superhero name to a giant tiny toothed guy, let's meet the 20 biggest sharks in the world ever recorded. <sighs> Number 20. Mega Mouth Shark Unless you're deep into the world of obscure sharks, you'll probably never have heard of the Megamouth. Turns out you should be pretty thankful for that. After all, these sharks are no joke. They're huge, they're intimidating, and they tend to just eat a lot. The Megamouth shark can weigh up to 2,700 pounds, but it's actually the smallest of its group, the filter feeders. Because, as it turns out, the reason for the shark's name has everything to do with the way and the amount that it eats. This shark is a filter feeder, meaning it swims with its mouth constantly wide open, gulping down the plankton that it happens to encounter. And given that they live as deep as 15,000 feet below the surface, you can bet that there's a heck of a lot of plankton. But living that deep also means that scientists very rarely see them in the wild. In fact, less than 60 have been captured or observed by scientists. Impressive, given how big it is. Although, when you take a look at the shark, you kind of have to ask yourself the question, would you want to see this thing in the darkness of the deep sea? I don't think so. Hard pass for me. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. It's time for the rare topic. How would you like to be the person who discovered this gigantic shark? These guys recently discovered the biggest hammerhead sharks ever recorded. These sharks were found 40 miles off the coast of Johannesburg, South Africa, by two guys who happened to be fishing out on the water. It was a little too big to pull onto the boat, so they had to drag it behind, eventually pulling it onto the shore by hand. What do you think? Have you ever seen a shark this big? Comment down below with the hashtag rare topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19. Giant Basking Shark Imagine the scene. You're out with your friends enjoying a spot of fishing off the coast of southern Australia. It's a nice day. You have some beers, post an unpopular opinion to Reddit. But then you catch something and you reel it in, and it's a 40-foot basking shark. Imagine that! These fishermen never intended to catch a shark, let alone one so massive, but it turns out their find had a positive impact. They allowed scientists to study the second biggest fish on the planet because, wouldn't you know it, the basking shark is not an easy animal to capture or observe in the wild. In fact, barely anything is known about it because this species doesn't ever need to surface for air to survive. But now scientists can fully observe the creature and research its genetics, diet, and general life history. And even better, the scientists don't have to worry about becoming shark food. Not only are basking shark's slow-moving plankton feeders, but they also have teeny tiny teeth, so a bite from one of these guys probably wouldn't hurt too much. Well, it would, but you know, they're scientists, so they'd probably see it as an opportunity to study shark bites or something. Number 18. Biggest Great White Ever a lot of stuff was going on in 1987. I mean, on this planet. A lot of stuff is always happening, but we're gonna ignore all of it to focus on one tiny event that nobody really paid attention to, but which we think is a highlight. In 1987, the year of the largest great white ever to be caught. Yes, in 1987, Vic Hislop was fishing off the coast of Phillip Island when he managed to do the impossible. As it turns out, Hislop is a professional shark catcher, so he clearly knows what he's doing, and has developed a few tips
tips and tricks along the way. However, catching a 23-foot-long Great White, pretty sure even he didn't expect that one. Hislop's find quickly went viral in the local community, and he even landed himself in the history books for the catch. So what did he do next? Well, he threw it into a refrigerated van, drove back to Queensland, and got it stuffed. Not a great ending for the shark, but I guess Hislop wanted to remind himself of his triumph. Regardless of what you think about the stuffing, I think everybody can agree to just how wild it is that he actually caught the thing. This is a great white, the biggest ever caught. It's like catching a T-Rex. Not bad. Not bad at all. Number 17. Hammerhead Shark it's one thing to catch a big ol' shark, it's quite another to break a decade-old state record while doing so. At that point, you've pretty much just caught a place in the history books. And isn't that what we're all looking for in this life? Even though, you know, most of us aren't out there catching sharks. Tim McClellan, however, has been catching fish for decades. Still, none of his experience could have prepared him for what happened in 2017. McClellan was taking part in the Tackle Time Fish tournament in Texas City when he somehow managed to fish out a 1,033-pound hammerhead shark. Back in 1980, Mark Johnson achieved the same feat, dragging in a 871-pound hammerhead and making a record that stood for the next 37 years. Then McClellan just absolutely smashed the record into a million pieces and took the crown for himself. Not bad, man. Apparently, this event is a hot spot for shark catching. Matches. Just a week before McClellan's big victory, Sergio Rock managed to pull in a 946 pound tiger shark. It took him three hours to actually, you know, reel it in, but he eventually did it. Man, imagine the upper arm strength that must take. I need to hit the gym. Number 16 Mako Shark. Almost always, fishermen are caught off guard when they happen to catch a shark. Understandably so, nobody actually goes out to reel in one of the biggest and most notorious predators of the ocean, right? It kinda seems like a total fantasy even to try and pull that off. But take a look at these fishermen, who happen to pull off that very impossible task. They were fishing some 15 miles off the coast of Huntington Beach when they happened to drag in a 12-foot-long 1,000 300-pound shortfin mako shark, and according to people who know what they're talking about, that makes it a possibly world-record-breaking catch. Not bad for a group of guys who were probably just looking to catch fish. I guess sometimes it pays to dream of pulling off even your wildest dreams. Not many people actually catch a mako shark, or any shark really, but this whole incident just goes to show that, like love, sometimes it happens when you least expect it. From now on, on every time I go for a walk, I'm going to expect a shark around every corner. You know, just in case. Number 15. Bull Shark Sydney Harbor is notorious for its shark population. We've shown videos on this very channel of people diving into the harbor and realizing that sharks are loitering around. But hey, sometimes that unexpected population can be a good thing if, for instance, you're a fisherman. In that case, massive luck. Damon Smith Horak was one of those unexpecting lucky fishermen. When he was fishing off the coast of Sydney Harbor, he managed to catch a giant 13-foot bull shark. One of the biggest sharks he had ever seen in his life. It took over two hours to fully reel the shark in, again reminding us of how all fishermen have to basically be built like Popeye to do the job well. However, it wasn't the first shark that Damon encountered, it was the third shark to take the bait, but only the first to have the misfortune to keep on the end of the hook. As for the shark population of Sydney Harbor, Damon sees it as a good thing. He says it's a sign that the harbors have been cleared up well allowing for the species to survive and thrive in a healthy, undisturbed way. Well, until some guy comes along to hook and drag him out, I guess. But sure, Damon. Number 14. Deep Blue how big is the world's biggest shark? Very 
big, but I think you already knew that. After all, would we be talking about it if it was just as big as every other shark? I don't think so. This has to be a little more impressive than that, and believe me, it is. Here off the coast of Guadalupe Island, Mexico, Michael Meyer and his fellow divers were exploring the waters when they actually got it. Footage of deep blue. This shark has fascinated scientists ever since she was first discovered, but now they have footage to prove just how fascinating she really is. Turns out Deep Blue is about the size of a metro bus and is believed to be about 50 years old. In fact, she may well have been pregnant when the footage was captured. Some experts claim it was possible that Deep Blue could have given birth to over a hundred babies in her whole lifetime. Man, that's a very active lifestyle. Of course, Deep Blue's intense privacy means she has no tracing device, so scientists don't actually know where she is today. For all we know, she's having another couple of babies. Good for her. I bet life underwater is pretty boring. Number 13. Giant Great White Okay, so this one is not only a massive and record-breaking shark in its own right, but also a pretty controversial catch. So let's head back to 1986 and take a closer look, shall we? Here we are back in August 1986. Isn't it very 80s? It kind of feels the same way to me, but you know, let's go with it. Still, it's at this time that Frank Mundus and Donnie Braddock caught a 3,427-pound great white shark off the coast of Montauk. To this day, it remains the largest shark ever caught by rod and reel. The guy actually spent hours slowly reeling in a three and a half thousand pound shark. Let's just let that one sink in for a sec, shall we? Of course, I promised you some controversy, and I wasn't kidding. At the time, the catch was incredibly controversial, as some believed that the fisherman had killed the whale on which the shark was feeding. Or even worse, the shark was harpooned first and then dragged in. Either of these would be pretty damaging to their legacies. If they killed the whale, that's obviously pretty awful. And if they killed the shark first, well, that means the record is completely invalidated. So either way, we're looking at a questionable legacy right here. Number 12. World Record Hammerhead Shark Sometimes fishermen are just straight up crazy, and I'm not necessarily talking about the ones who commit to finding and catching sharks. I mean, they are crazy, but there are also other slightly crazier fishermen out there, like the ones who like to dive into shark-infested waters. I mean, that's as crazy as it gets, right? Greg Norman is one of those fishermen. The only thing is, he's very good at fishing. So good, in fact, that he managed to catch a world record sized hammerhead shark, 14 feet long to be specific. But before they released the shark back into the wild, Norman and his fellow anglers decided to strip down and dive into the water right next to the shark itself. That's pretty insane, but Norman was insistent that you want to feel connected with the fish. Eh, sure, buddy, what Never makes you feel happy. For those of us who aren't hardcore fishermen, the idea of jumping into shark-infested waters isn't a good time, but it turns out that catching a shark brings out the wild, brave rebel within, or it just makes you overconfident and completely unafraid of death. Either way, it seems like a fun and dangerous way to live. Number 11. Big Eye Thresher Shark what is it that keeps fishermen coming back to the open ocean? If you ever ask a deep sea fisherman, they'll tell ya. Deep sea fishing is like a box of chocolates. Some of it is weird, but you'll remember it for a long time. That's the quote, right? I haven't seen Forrest Gump in a while. Regardless of the accuracy, the quote pretty much sums up the thrill of deep sea fishing. While the fishermen may have specific species in mind, there's just no telling what they'll find. Case in point, the Big Eye Thresher Shark, a weird deep sea species if ever there was one. This fish is found all over the world, from New York to Cuba to Portugal and New Zealand. And it's named, obviously, for its enormous eyeballs. Those eyeballs aren't just for weird aesthetic purposes, of course. In daylight, those eyes allow the shark to stay in really deep, low-light water before swimming up in the water column to hunt and feed at night. 
or to make it a little easier to comprehend those weird eyes help the shark see, even when there's basically no light. So I guess Karen's can't help you see in the dark, but massive eyes certainly can. You learn something new every day. Number 10. Six Gill Shark when your job consists of traveling around the world and capturing footage of animals in their natural habitat, you have to expect the unexpected. Welcome to the world of BBC documentary crews. They're pretty much just constantly preparing to be ambushed, but this one was especially frightening. This film crew was shooting footage for the epic series Blue Planet 2, following a whale carcass as it descended over 2,200 feet below the ocean's surface. And it was okay for a while, but after about an hour, things got a little bit scary for the crew members. The carcass quickly became the focus of an intense feeding frenzy among a group of six gill sharks, and here in the complete darkness of the deep ocean was a crew of humans surrounded by sharks the size of cars. As the filmmakers described, the plumes of blood coupled with the submarine's lights turned the water a dark red. I think we can all imagine how terrifyingly unnerving this kind of scene would be, as if being trapped inside a metal box thousands of feet below the surface isn't scary enough. Now you have to deal with the threat of actual predators lingering around. And to make it worse, you can't even see them. Pretty sure I had a nightmare like that once. Number 9. Largest Bull Shark Ever of all the sharks on our planet, the bull shark is easily one of the deadliest. While most sharks tend to lurk in oceans so deep that humans simply can't get close, the bull shark tends to travel into freshwater rivers, but it gets worse because they're also statistically the deadliest shark in the world for humans. So it's hard to imagine how you'd feel if you actually, you know, hooked one of these sharks. Would you feel excited, proud, or would you just be absolutely terrified out of your mind? A great question. This is Jeremy and he actually has first-hand experience with this particular question. You see, when he was out fishing, he happened to catch a bull shark, but not just any bull shark. One of the largest ever caught, and he caught it twice. As it turns out, the bull shark had been stalking his boat, so when Jeremy caught the shark the second time, he decided to reel it in. Three hours later, he managed to bring the thing in. That shark weighed over 500 pounds and is still the largest fish Jeremy ever caught. Not bad for somebody who wasn't expecting to catch a shark, right? Number 8. Giant Hammerhead Shark Considering the reputation of, well, pretty much every shark known to man, the hammerhead is surprisingly non-aggressive. In fact, they tend to go out of their way to avoid contact with humans, which makes this next topic even more unique because it turns out they kind of like attention now every february giant hammerheads appear in numbers off the coast of off the coast of bimini island in the northern bahamas it's kind of a wild phenomenon given how notoriously shy the animals are but the sheer number of sharks that appear here and their seeming willingness to approach divers seems to disprove that take a look at this clip and you'll see mark and his crew at tiger beach they're here hoping to see some pretty big sharks but just when it seems Seems like their adventure was coming to an end. Mark happened to spot an unthinkably huge hammerhead shark in the water. For anybody else, that would be a cause for concern, or at least a pretty convincing reason to start running and never go into the water again. But for these guys, that was the whole reason they were there, and it quickly became a memory that they would never ever forget. Meanwhile, my greatest memory is when I discovered Oreos. So cool. Number seven. Greenland Shark it's kind of amazing how much scientists can find out about animals purely through technology. Case in point, the Greenland shark. Who'd have thought that these animals would be the longest living vertebrates on the planet? Apparently, the answer was all there in the genetics. Researchers used radiocarbon dating to actually determine how old these creatures were, and the findings were pretty shocking. 28 of these huge creatures, which can grow anywhere up to 21 feet, were investigated, and one of them was dated to be around 400 years old. Can you imagine living to the age of 400? By that point, humans would be nothing more than a tiny pile of dust. 
And if you weren't, you'd surely be begging for death. If you're at all creeped out by the Greenland shark, you can rest easy knowing that they're only found in the North Atlantic. So just avoid diving into the wild expanse of the ocean and you should be fine. So there we have it, the oldest living vertebrate on Earth. And it happens to be a shark. Not bad, eh? Thank goodness for technology proving once again why Botox is nothing more than a temporary and unconvincing short-term solution. Number 6. Tiger Shark This guy was out having a grand old time bottom fishing in the Bahamas. You know, living his life. But then came the big twist. Because there's no way in hell that he ever could have expected that this otherwise typical fishing trip would have ended with him somehow catching a huge tiger shark. And yet here we are. So, what happened? Well, he and his buddies were out deep dropping in front of the old Bahama Bay Resort. You know, the usual fishing trip adventure. They caught a yellow eye snapper, then got bored of that and went north for some good old fashioned wahoo fishing. Unfortunately, the waves were a little too rough for that, so they had to go for plan C. Bottom fishing, pretty soon the guy hooked a reef shark. But then a massive tiger shark swims right up and chows down on the reef shark. What are the chances of that? According to the guy, the tiger shark must have been around 14 feet long. At his best estimate, it weighed probably around a thousand pounds. This is of course all estimated because if you see a shark just chow down on another shark in front of you, you're probably not gonna want that thing on your boat, you know? Number 5. Kamakai So we've already covered how dangerous the tiger shark is. They are, after all, the second deadliest species of shark in the ocean, and as far as we know, the longest ever recorded was 15 feet long. Oh, right, that's not true. It's not true because Kamakai exists. The Kamakai is, you guessed it, the biggest tiger shark in the world. This team of researchers was diving at a shark sanctuary in French Polynesia when they happened to meet Kamakai up close and personal, and boy was that an experience. The team estimated that Kamakai measured around 18 feet long, much longer than the boat they used to get there. That makes her easily the longest shark in the world. In fact, she was so big that her mouth couldn't even close, and she couldn't really move her fins whatsoever. That's obviously not a great situation for a shark, especially if you're known as one of the most terrifying and fearsome animals in all the ocean. While the researchers weren't allowed to take Kamakai back with them for a full analysis, they got more than enough just hanging with her for four hours. For most of us, four hours with a shark is just four hours of anxiety, so I hope they had a great time. Number 4. Basking Shark when you hear that the basking shark is the second largest living shark, you may feel a twinge of anxiety. But don't worry, as it turns out, these sharks are pretty much totally docile around humans. They have absolutely no desire to hurt us whatsoever, which feels weird. Especially when you see a giant basking shark like this one. This shark was found off the coast of Hampton Beach, New Hampshire, and it's, uh, weirdly frightening. Even when you know that the shark has no overwhelming desire to pay you any amount of attention, it's just uh, unsettling. Estimates put this shark at around 28 to 30 feet long, which is much larger than the typical maximum length for a basking shark. But still, they spend all of their time seeking out and eating plankton, so I think we can all rest easy knowing that humans aren't anywhere near the menu. Still, I've had a few nightmares about these sharks and no doubt I'll have a few more. There's just something about the way they look and those terrifying rows of teeth that are, uh, you know, uh, pure nightmare fuel. I'm starting to think I should just never go outside again. Lock me in a room with Oreos. I'll be happy. Number 3. Muhammad's Whale Shark would you get in a fight with the police over a fish you caught? Many fishermen would immediately say yes to this because, hey, this is their life. 
but the rest of us, well, no, we would have no need and no interest in fighting with the police over a salmon or something. What about a shark? Mohammed Dilawar and his crew were fishing in the Arabian Sea when their nets happened to catch onto a giant 45-foot fish. That fish was, of course, a whale shark. It took them three and a half hours to get the shark out of the water. And get this, it weighed approximately 20 tons. How much do you lift, bro? Muhammad had high hopes that the catch would change his life, possibly bringing in a lot of money from curious tourists or hopefully somebody looking to purchase the shark itself. Sadly, that didn't happen. I mean, somebody did buy the shark, but they didn't fork over a whole lot of money. In fact, Muhammad pretty much made enough to cover the cost of the 12-day trip. And the new owner of the fish, he was the one who strongly disagreed with the police over how to protect the shark. Eventually, he got into a fistfight with them. Hey, sharks will do crazy things to a man. Number 2. Whale Shark Honestly, the chances of anybody catching a whale shark are pretty unlikely most of the time. These animals tend to live at depths of around 800 feet. That's way deeper than any human could ever survive. But I don't imagine many fishing wires go that deep. But there are exceptions. The whale shark tend to rise to the surface in the summer months, close to Isla Mujeres. They eat all of the tiniest ocean organisms they can possibly find during this time. We're talking plankton and fish eggs. Something about the summer air and warm temperatures just make the whale shark feel productive. I don't know, man. But as for where we fit in here, whale sharks can grow anywhere between 18 and 32.8 feet long as adults, massively outscaling humans, so we should be very thankful that they prefer to eat tiny, tiny organisms. Thank any and all gods you may believe in. They're also incredibly strong and hardy creatures, with skin some 4 inches thick, so any opportunistic predators are pretty much out of luck when it comes to these things. Apparently the skin has the consistency consistency of very strong rubber, so it's pretty unlikely that even the strongest predators on the planet will chew through that. Unless they have titanium teeth. Number 1. The Megalodon Come on, you know we had to get there, right? It would be wrong to do a whole video on giant sharks and not even pay respect to the Don. The Megalodon is, without question, the largest fish this planet has ever known, and probably will ever know. Unless it's still out there. Thanks to hundreds of fossilized teeth and some leftover vertebrae, experts have officially determined that the Megalodon was indeed the largest fish in history. Today, of course, we have the Meg's most famous descendant, the Great White, but even that predator pales in comparison to the sheer terror that was the Meg. I mean, we're talking about an unimaginably huge shark here. The Meg was estimated to measure around 33.5 feet on average, with the biggest specimens coming in at a massive 58.7 feet long. And now scientists aren't even sure that's the biggest a Megalodon could get. The estimates are now reaching up to 82 feet long. So how much does a fish this big weigh? According to estimates, it could be anywhere from around 30 metric tons to over 65 metric tons. That's between 66,000 pounds and 143,000 pounds. So yeah, when Elon Musk decides Jurassic Park could work if it had him at the helm, let's just hope that he doesn't try to bring back the Meg. It won't work, Elon. Just leave it. Do you have a favorite shark, and did it make our list? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff, showing up on screen right now. See you next time.